Welcome everyone. Thank you for being here today. It's been a year since we last connected at the inaugural Unity for Humanity Summit, where we first introduced the Unity Social Impact Division, aimed at empowering employees and creators of all backgrounds to foster a more inclusive, equitable, and sustainable world. I'm so proud of the incredible impact we've made together this year and grateful that you are all here as members of this change maker community. For years, creators around the globe have been using Unity to tell stories that power real world change. Stories that help us to better understand one another and our shared world. They inspire us to imagine a better world and give us the courage to take action. Let's take a look at the amazing social impact work that you all have contributed to this year. At Unity, we believe the world is a better place with more creators in it. This philosophy is centered around serving creators and is the beating heart of our company. We acknowledge and honor the hard work being done by individuals and companies who are using technology to inspire and make change. This is why in the last year, we have awarded more than two and a half million dollars from the Unity Charitable Fund to support current and future creators who are building real-time 3D experiences that have a meaningful impact on society and the planet. The efforts of Unity Social Impact are centered around three key pillars, sustainability, digital health and well-being, and education and inclusive economic opportunity. We understand that sustainability is critical and multifaceted. And in the past year, Unity has provided support to creators who are building content to make our physical world a healthier, more sustainable place. We empowered creators who are using Unity's real-time 3D technology to increase awareness and educate the world on our greatest sustainability issues. First, the Unity for Humanity Environment and Sustainability Grant was created in collaboration with the United Nations Environment Program and Project Drawdown. Today, I'm excited to announce the winners. Powers of X, a virtual experience designed to raise awareness around our impact on global climate change. District 64, a VR experience that shows the grave impacts of urban oil drilling on community health. And Origin, an immersive experience that showcases the destruction of sacred land endured by indigenous communities. Next, as members of the Playing for the Planet Alliance, a group of some of the largest companies in video games who are harnessing our collective power to take action on climate change, we co-designed and launched the 2021 Green Game Jam, which brought together studios and platforms to create compelling content and actionable goals for game players around the world to have an impact on climate change. We have also partnered with and funded universities and organizations whose work and research, we believe, will drive real world change, including Western University, Project Drawdown, and Conservation International. Finally, we looked inward to fully understand our own environmental impact. Our team has been working tirelessly to determine what we can do to reduce our carbon footprint. 
Today, it is my great honor to announce that Unity is committed to a science-based target of net zero emissions by 2030. How will we do this? We are offsetting, redesigning, and aligning. First, we will be neutralizing our greenhouse gas emissions through carbon offsets, starting with our 2020 emissions. Approximately half of a million dollars will be invested in high quality offsets that provide co-benefits to the local communities. Second, we are making a dent in our carbon footprint by purchasing renewable energy for our facilities and redesigning our procurement policy, ensuring that everything we purchase is as sustainable as possible. And finally, we are committed to funding and aligning with groups who are demanding better from the world and setting new industry standards. This is just the beginning of a long continuous effort to acknowledge and act upon the responsibility that we have as global citizens who share this planet. Our second focus area is digital health and well-being. We believe that everyone deserves to live a healthy life, and that often means having access to quality healthcare tools and services. We see creators using Unity to explore innovative and practical solutions for managing physical and mental health, training medical professionals, and testing new healthcare technologies. Now, more than ever, mental health is fundamental to our overall health. Last year, we partnered with Rare Beauty's Rare Impact Fund to open a grant awarding immersive experiences that address mental health and well-being. This challenge was designed to underscore the powerful role that real-time 3D can play in supporting the world's mental health landscape. The two winning projects were A Part of Me, a mobile game that supports young people and their families through the heartbreak and confusion of grief, and What It's Like to Be Me a virtual reality experience that builds empathy for members of the LGBTQ community experiencing discrimination. Finally, our third focus area is education and inclusive economic opportunity. We have been working in the space of education and inclusive economic opportunity since well before our social impact division was formed. As you may already know, Unity contributes over $1 billion of in-kind products and services in order to make Unity as accessible as possible to creators all over the world, no matter their background. Unity creators are storytellers, and the stories that shape our world the most are the ones we hear the least, those told by underrepresented voices. Giving rise to the voices from these communities provides a richer understanding of ourselves and the solutions that can make the world a better place. In an effort to provide greater economic opportunity in a time where many were out of work due to the pandemic, we launched Career Pathways, guided learning experiences to help anyone learn Unity from scratch, build a portfolio, get Unity certified, and prepare for a new job in under six months. We also wanted to ensure educators had what they needed to successfully teach Unity in virtual and in-person classrooms. So we introduced the educator plan to do just that. Along with this, we also launched the Educator Live series, which provides live development sessions for all education professionals. Not to mention, we created the EdTech Creator Challenge in partnership with GSV Ventures, a brand new grant which recognizes EdTech organizations, higher ed institutions, nonprofits, companies, and creators, leveraging the power of immersive technology to make learning and education more accessible to all. In total, we spent over $2 million in reskilling individuals and supporting university programs. Now, you may have noticed that the theme for this year's event is imagining a better world. This theme is inspired by the incredible social impact work of Unity creators, as well as the latest song, Imagine, by two-time Academy Award winner, Common. I'm thrilled that he will take the stage in just a few minutes to dare you to dream and innovate for social change. As a bit of background, one of the many reasons we invited Common to speak today is that he and Unity share a belief that education should be accessible to all. He started a school, Art in Motion, an organization reimagining education with a mission to provide every student, regardless of their zip code, an opportunity to achieve their fullest academic and artistic potential. Today, Unity is announcing a partnership with Art in Motion by providing a grant to expand the school, support their programming, and provide access for the students to learn real-time 3D development and prepare them for the jobs of tomorrow. In partnership with Common, we have also co-designed a brand new extension of the Unity for Humanity grant, the Imagine grant, awarded to the project that best inspires audiences to imagine a better world. Now please join me in welcoming Oscar, Emmy, and Grammy-winning artist, actor, author, and activist, Common, 
and co-founder and chief impact officer at HIDEF and Unity Social Impact Advisory Board member, Dr. David Washington. Well, brother, I wanna thank Jessica for that amazing intro and really thank you for making the time to be here. Thank you. Unity for Humanity Summit and all about the creators out there watching, environment matters, right? Yes, sir. So I wanted you to talk a little bit about what you got going on over there. Well, for me, and like any place I go, I try to create the environment that centers me. Um, it gives me a peace and, and allows me to be in my highest and best self and creative self, um, especially, you know, a lot of times I'm going to do performances in some place, there's a lot going on. Or even if I'm on a movie set and it's 300 people talking about what's, you know, what's happening, you know, and I'm trying to actually get focused for a scene, I have to have things that center me. Um, right now, for our talk and, and something I constantly use is candles, um, you know, and I'm fortunate to have this Palo, which is a line that we're doing. Um, Palo by Lani Lynn is our candle. I want to light them all the wicks up. But anyway, then Palo Santo is something that I, I love. And it's, um, it's something that I discovered from a, a great friend of mine. And when she introduced it to me, I just started using it a lot to center me and, um, and just, you know, bring in good energy. That's what it's there for. What I wanted to say, too, is uh, honoring our elders. Yeah. And also, uh, we're here in L.A. on Tongva land, mm -hmm. Native Americans. And just giving a shout out to all those who've come before and then like let's have an amazing conversation yes sir thank you man i'm grateful to honor the, the elders and so, the ancestors and i think the the change makers out there watching and i talked to you a little bit about uh unity's tagline the world is a better place with more creators in it you yes. have these change makers these creators as you're talking about burning that gets you in the right spot right yeah yeah for sure i mean you know as a creator um the most the most beneficial thing you could do as a creator is to, to be able to express from your truest self. And to actually like, and that truest self may come with the combination of things that you've experienced, things that you're imagining, things that um, um, have inspired you. And I believe that, you know, you have to have the tools and resources that allow you to, to, to express that truest self. And, um, you know, to me, like, when I think of creators, creators are the people who are actually changing the world in, in the best ways. You know, I always would, would sit around and, and think about people dealing with politics um, or people in the political sphere and say, man, some of them missing the creative energy mm. and creative, like, perspective that could actually be help to change because Creators are the ones that reach us in certain ways where, you know, just a, um, a certain speech may not or or just like information may not get up, get to us the way if someone takes some information and, and creates it to make it something beautiful, presents it in a different way. And I think that's what creators do. They take things out of their imagination and present it in a way where we can receive it. Um, and I think it could be applied to so many spaces in life, you know, like. I brought up the politics because one of the most powerful things that I was a part of was the, was the film Selma mm -hmm. um, and directed by Ava DuVernay. And, and one thing I learned about the women and men of the civil rights movement was they were very creative in their strategizing in ways that they went about getting these laws changed, mm -hmm. you know, and they were coming up with ideas. And like one of the, the actually the character I played, James Bevel, was a musician but he also was an activist and he, he um, came up with the idea of having like, you know, we're gonna have teenagers march in this point. Mm. And it really affected the, the movement because people saw how teenagers were getting treated by law enforcement. Anyway, my point is just that, man, creators are useful in every aspect of life. And it's so important um, that, you know, we function at our yeah. highest. When you talk about creators, I also know you're super passionate about education. Yes. Folks out there might not know your mom is an educator. Yeah. Some people watching, knowing about Unity, one of their passion areas is education. Yeah. Can you speak a little bit about uh, that area for you? you have yeah. Art in Motion back home, south side of Chicago. Come on, man. Right? Like, yeah. It's, uh, well, you know, education. My mother is a former teacher, retired principal, still um, 
involved in education in our community with my Common Ground Foundation. Even has a lot of great ideas for AIM, Art and Motion, the school we have um, in, in Chicago. Um, education has been the foundation for me because my mother was like, hey, this is how you're going to make it in life. Mm. And she didn't know I was even actually going to be an artist or a musician, but the, the information that I was getting and the way I was applying myself towards education and the way I was receiving, what I was receiving through education, um, it really allowed me to actually go out in the world and almost do anything I wanted to do. And and I really I'm really grateful to my mother for for being so adamant about it and 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 really saying hey if you do good in school you're gonna get these privileges and you know that's what it came down to and little did I know that that doing well in education would allow me the privileges that I've received as an artist and to go do things like because it's no it's no being a great any profession if you're not educated yeah. if you, you know. i couldn't agree with you more yeah. everything i've achieved in life is because of education yeah. so yeah and it's correct and it's and it's amazing because and then you could probably can attest to this d wash is like you know certain things you go to school for and you don't know when you will use them but then they just come out in certain aspects of life where you're like oh i'm actually yeah. using this and certain aspects of education obviously like you may not even take it from a formal perspective, but it's still education. There's so many things that I learned from like just having meetings with people. I, I look at life as an education in certain mm. ways, you know, mm. like, and, and I think um, for all us creators out there, I think one of the best things that we can have is like to always want to learn, to always want to grow. Yo, man, let's talk about that fire you dropped with Imagine. I need to hear about it. And one part I want to hear, especially hear about is because there's so many people in the unity community that are gamers yeah. there's a line that's imagine layers in the game where we're all players yeah so okay so imagine the song i mean i've been dealing with the the thoughts and the how powerful our imagination is like i've been coming across across scripture that talks about mm. it um, i was reading a book and yeah. You know, we were in the studio. I was in the studio with the creators I work with, and you know, this music comes from my imagination. Like it's, and you know, when they came with the music, I was like, "This is, this is the song for me to like get into what, what would I like to see in the world?" Like right. because the music made me feel good and made me feel empowered in a way, but feel great. And I was thinking like, so many conversations I've been having were talking about how dire things were mm -hmm. um, and how tough things were. And I, and I wanted to not overlook that and acknowledge that. But what about if we see things in a different way? What about if we like see say, okay, this exists, but I can see something else happening or occurring. And that's where imagination um, in, the, in the song Imagine to me, like really felt like it had, I needed to release that song. Mm -hmm. I needed to, to express that because that was my way of saying to the planet, to the universe, to people that, hey man, we it's brighter days as long as we see it. There are brighter days and we can create anything. So that line, imagine layers in a game when we all play it. You know, like I was really thinking about how imagining a world where we all have a part in it. Like we all contribute um, because things are on an even plane. And, you know, you know, whether you, you know, a gamer or, or, you know, artist or a teacher, we all have a part in this, like, and it's acknowledged and it's recognized. That's basically what I was saying. And two, you know, we all know that the inequalities that have existed for black people and, and brown people in this, in this country have been um, tough. And for women, um, for Muslims, for for um, the LGBT community um, um, for a long time. So I was just thinking about, uh, I was thinking about like the equality that we could exist, that, that we could create. Leveling the playing field. If Basically, we're all... yeah. So yeah. you mentioned imagination a ton, got creativity. Yeah. I was thinking about it. And I know you're all about body, mind, spirit. 
and yoga and <laughs> I do some Tai Chi. Yeah. I couldn't help but think of the yin yang symbol and how yeah. they're interconnected. Yes. Does that resonate with you? Was that part of the process? I mean, you know, remember, we have these world changers watching, so they want to learn from you. I've been blessed to be behind the scenes with you when the yeah. cameras aren't there right. and know how you're doing the work all the time, 24 seven. Yeah. Well, that, that, that symbol, I, I, I get to understand it even more about how we all are connected. And just you gave me a reminder, even just bringing it up, that the fact that, you know, that symbol existed for a long time and our connection has existed since we've been created. Mm -hmm. um, and I think to me, it's, it's important that when we know that and acknowledge that in each other, like it's easier to live life. Life becomes that much more easy, um, that much more pleasant. Um, if I could look at somebody and, and know that like, I'm actually really um, connected to you. You, you. you and I have something there's, there's not only in common, but we have, our lives affect each other. The way I, like I may, in, in a simple way, I may open the door for, for you and you may feel that kindness. Yep. And, and play and it that, forward. And, and play it forward. And, and you might feel confident you going in a meeting. And I'm gonna say, man, you look great today. So I, I gotta ask you about a geek out factor real quick. <laughs> so I've been thinking about the song, imagine, imagination, we got creativity. You know that formula Einstein E equals MC yeah, squared. Yeah. What is the formula to change the world? Because you do so much. I've seen you behind the scenes, in front of the camera, behind the camera. And I think sometimes people forget how hard it is to do the work. Yeah. So I was thinking about it. I was like, is it one part imagination, two parts creativity, three parts grit and hustle? What would the? I think all yeah. those things are really important and with changing the world for sure. The things I would add to that formula, um, I believe love is really important. Um, it's something I understood about like why I do the things that I do. And I think the, the source of it is because I love, I love music, I love acting, I love people. Um, and I love seeing people happy, you know, and, and it's just, it's this um, quote by Khalil Gibran from the book, The Prophet, that, where he talks about work is love made visible. And I always, that, that quote always resonated with me because I was like, man, if I'm doing something I'm, I love, it's not work, right? So when, when you think about changing the world, you wanna first like choose something you love, right? And then I think along with that, you wanna have um, discipline. Discipline is important because like no matter, it's so many people that are gifted and talented. We all have some gift, right. but it's actually applying that gift and having the, the, the wherewithal, the, 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 I wanna use the word discipline again, but the energy to say, hey, I'm gonna focus on this and, and do it consistently and not let things that are outside of my purpose and who I am distract me. Right. Speaking of purpose, purpose is another part of the formula that I think would be incredible mm -hmm. because once you know what your purpose is, you actually like, it's easier to change the world because you align yourself with those things that you are purpose to do. Like if you say, man, my, one of my purposes in life is to inspire, mm -hmm. is to, is to enlighten, is to motivate. Um, then you're going to like make choices creatively, your yeah. imagination is going to lead you there. Um, and the, the people that you align yourself, the businesses that you align yourself, the creators you align yourself with will be people and, and creators that are part of that purpose. I think humility is important in the, in, in this formula that we come, that we coming up with. Yeah. Um, it, because you coming up with, you might have to we, trademark that. No, no, no. Get it no, out there. I mean, but some of the things you mentioned were very significant too, but i also say humility because one thing I noticed about people who are humble, they, they are always learning, they're always mm. seeking, and they know that they don't know everything, so they always will grow. Like, humility is like a, is a seed to growth because then you're allowing yourself to accept and receive things, and the things you don't, you don't need to use, you, you, know, you don't use them. But humility, 
won't it, it will keep you from being stagnant right you know? So when you're talking about humility and discipline, I threw in their grit. We both yeah. agree on imagination and creativity for those change makers watching a shout out like how it's hard advancing social good, social right. impact. Mm -hmm. Any words of wisdom since you've been on the front lines for so long? Well, yeah, I think, first of all, um, choose something that you feel like passionate about, like and find out like what your gifts are and how can you contribute towards that cause? I'm gonna give an example. Like, first of all, I've been doing work like within the criminal justice system for, for some years now, right? I, that initially wasn't my thing. Oh, really? No, okay. it wasn't. Like for me, I grew up on the South side of Chicago and people being locked up was normal. I thought it was just like a normal thing. Well, such and such did something, it's normal. They get locked up. Well, I didn't know about the systemic part of what prison is and, you know, how much it was destroying just the next generations. So once that clicked and it clicked because of a woman named Michelle Alexander, who I read her book, mm. The New Jim Crow. And I was like, cause I was talking to her about stopping the violence and these things anyway. I connected with someone named Scott Budnick who took me into prisons in California I met people, women and men who were incarcerated, doing life sentences, life without parole. Some of the most enlightened and beautiful people I ever met in my life, I met in the prison system. But what could I bring to it? Okay, well, I'm an artist. Mm -hmm. We ended up doing concerts at these prisons. We did performances mm -hmm. where people who were incarcerated actually worked on part of the production crew. Oh, amazing. Yeah. And then, you know, some of the performances, I had individuals come up to me and say, man, I hadn't been to a concert in my life. Or for that m amount of time, we forgot we were in prison. Right. The point is, I took one of the things I do and brought it to, to the change I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. But that also overflowed into an action of, okay, now these individuals, I, not only I gave them some motivation and some hope, what am I going to do action-wise? What's practical that's going to change in their lives? Well. I, because of, like I said, I use what things I had, my platform, I was able to meet with some legislators and I went to the Capitol in California, sat down with Democrats, Republicans, and talked to them about criminal justice reform right and like changing some of these laws. We got a bill, it was SB 394 in the state of California, a bill that allowed, that basically stops um, people who were young under the age of 18 to being sentenced to life without parole. And this was something for me that I, I first of all had to learn about. I didn't know all the information about it. So I'm bringing it up because I want us all to know, like, we don't know everything. Right. You might Humility. just care about something and say, okay, let me see. I'm still learning. And that's okay. And that's the great thing is mm -hmm. you'll all be yeah. always be learning. Right. But I took what I have in these fields and said, this is how I can do this. Right. And I also invited friends to do it too, other artists. Yeah, so my 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 thing is to to the world changes out there and these creators out there is um pick which something you are passionate about. Man, use those skills to to go out and and be a part of the change. You know, it's 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 one thing to to take care of yourself and feed yourself, but it's a great mm -hmm. reward when you start seeing it affect others. When you talk about the things you're passionate about and following passion and what you love, mm -hmm. the Imagine Grant yeah. that we're talking about today, and Jessica talked about in the lead in, do you have any guardrails you want people to submit around? Do you want it around mass incarceration? Do you want it around education? Do you want it yeah. around mental health? Or do you want them just to come at you with the, the yeah. fire of their own creativity and imagination? Yeah, no, nah, I'm like, D, I'm a, like, I'm an. I'm the type of collaborator um, person that I like people to to express what they need to express. Like I would never try to coach um, someone's imagination or direct something if I'm asking like, hey, create create something for us. I want you to go in your imagination um, and, and we're doing this for this grant. And then I try to tell them what to do. I want them to be as, the only thing I can tell them to do is be as creative and free as possible and tap into the things that are, that you think are incredible um, and just bring that truth and honesty. And 
and everything works out perfect from there. Okay, okay, I love it. Can I switch into some rapid fire questions with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, you down? I might bring it at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You wanna buckle up? We can get that, yeah. Okay, all right. So I want the audience to know a little bit about you that they might not know. Yeah. So can you rank order beet juice, green juice, orange juice? <laughs> Well, I'm definitely going with green juice first because I, I don't know. I drink green juices every day. Okay. Um, and, you know, it's mostly just vegetables and sometimes it's apple in there. But Okay. Um, and beet juice I like. I really like beet juice. I don't even drink orange juice that much. So I'm, orange juice is definitely last on the list. I like beet juice, but it it's tricky because it, sp it spills on you. And you so <laughs> that's I love the it. truth. I love yes. it. Okay. I know you get down with yoga. Yeah. So rank order or share your favorite pose. Warrior, headstand, back bend. <laughs> I would go with uh, I would go with headstand. Uh, and I okay. think I think because I'm, I know you're not supposed to this is all against the theories of yoga, <laughs> but you're not supposed to be competitive, but I, I, for some reason, when I do a headstand, I feel like I'm really accomplishing something okay. that I don't see okay. everybody I love can it. do. I so, love it. Uh, it's against all philosophies of yoga, but anyway, all I'll right. go ahead. On the musical front, where you are a Jedi grandmaster, okay. rank <laughs> order, R&B, jazz, gospel. Oh, this is tough. Hip hop rap. Oh, this is tough, man. Ooh, I'm gonna go. My instinct goes first with jazz. Okay. Jazz, I love jazz. Second, I'm gonna go with gospel. Mm. I listen to gospel and it shaped my life since I was a kid. Third, I'm going hip hop. Um, obviously, it shaped me and it's what I participate in. And then I'll go with R&B, um, which I really love. I really love R&B and soul music. So. It's tough for me to put that forth, but I'm, yeah. I'm just going to I should have gave you option D, like all of the above. Yeah, that right? it, that's what <laughs> it is. Up, but I, I'm, I was very honest about what I, like I'll pop on jazz and gospel almost every day. Um, I guess I'm playing hip hop now that I work out or not. Like okay, out, yeah. there it is. So because a lot of the community watching right now are gamers and, and tech and XR and VR, and I think we're around the same age, yeah. old school, arcade, gaming favorites, Space Invaders, <laughs> Pac-Man, Donkey Kong. Man, you know, I'm going to go with Space Invaders. Okay. And uh, I was, it was a tough fight between that and Donkey Kong. Yeah, that's my jam. Donkey Kong, I love Donkey Kong. But I love Donkey Kong Jr. too, so. Oh, you know, okay, you know, uh, okay, I see. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to go, but I'm going with Space Invaders because that was like, that brought me into the world in a way, like, mm. like the gaming world, so. I'm going to go with space. Okay. Invaders. So as we wrap things up, I'm thinking, got the fire of Imagine, got creativity, you got this formula you're going to fine tune and get it out to the world. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering, I'm a bit of a movie buff and shout out to John Wick. And, yeah. Oh, thanks, uh, and you always hear about directors leaving things on the cutting room floor. Yeah. And I was wondering if there were any lyrics or, or lines for Imagine that didn't make it into the song that you go, oh, maybe I should have done it or any lyrics since the song's come out that you'd like to be in it? Or if I dare say, if you, you know, maybe drop a little freestyle. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go with the second one because uh, I was thinking about what lyrics, let me think of what lyrics I left behind. I, I don't remember many of them, um, but I'll say this, you know, the funny part is like, when I wrote on the second verse of Imagine, I actually didn't know if it was gonna make the song mm. because I was um, I was planning on making it a collaboration. I was gonna have another artist be on it, but once I laid it down, and that artist was like one, you know, it's like wavy about it. I was like, well, this this is right. I'm keeping what I got mm -hmm. now. I'll keep what you got. Okay, okay. Yeah. As we wrap up, any closing words? I want you, because you're such a inspiration to me, Good to uh, well, be able to right share some. To share some thoughts with with the, the viewers out there you know they're going to go out there with the imagine grant yeah and they're 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 imagining a, a better and brighter world uh, any closing remarks or words of inspiration for them um i just want to say first and foremost that i think you all are on on the right path you know if you 
here checking this out, you already creators. Being a creator is truly a gift. Like anyone on this in, on this planet that has impacted the earth has created something. That means whether it's a a way to do something, an idea of something that became some a physical thing, um, even if it's like a way to approach life in in, in creation. Um, and I think, you know, the creators are the people who will really bring us all together and make the planet better in, in so many different ways. So continue on that path. Also put that formula, even though I ain't finished it yet, but put some of those things from that formula in there. Put that love, put that discipline, put that humility and um, continue to seek um, and learn and grow. Um, and man, I'm looking forward to what you all are creating. That's what I want to say. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, bro. Wow, that was incredible. Thanks to Common and Dr. David Washington for such an inspiring conversation. We have an amazing day lined up for you. Please join us throughout the day and hear from folks like Sam Glassenberg, founder and CEO of Level X, Mona Murshed, founding CEO of Generation, Yenny Solheim, director of social impact at Niantic, and more. We hope today will expand your perspective, propel your creativity, connect you more deeply to our global community, and inspire you to envision a better world. Thank you for joining us and be well.